India's external affairs minister Dr S Jayashankar embarked on a significant visit to Sweden and Belgium. This marked his first official visit since assuming office. Dr Jayashankar's visit to Sweden coincided with the celebrations of 75 years of diplomatic relations between India and Sweden. The visit held particular importance as Sweden currently holds the presidency of the Council of the European Union. During his time in Sweden, Dr Jayashankar held meetings with key officials including Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson and Foreign Minister Tobias Billström. Discussions centered around strengthening bilateral cooperation and exchanging strategic assessments of Europe and the Indo-Pacific. Dr Jayashankar also met with Sweden's Defence Minister Paul Johnson and Andreas Norlin, the Speaker of the Swedish Parliament, the Riksdag, to foster contacts between the two parliamentary democracies and exchange perspectives on their respective regions. Furthermore, Dr Jayashankar attended the second EU Indo-Pacific Ministerial Forum in Stockholm. On the sidelines of the forum, he engaged in bilateral meetings with foreign ministers from several countries. Additionally, he participated in the inaugural session of the India Trilateral Forum, which included representatives from India, Europe, and the United States. India and Sweden have had long-standing close relations based on common values, strong business, investment and R&D linkages and similar approaches to meet global challenges of peace and security and development. The relationship between India and Sweden has deep historical roots established in 1949 based on shared democratic values. Recent high level visits have further strengthened these ties with India welcoming the first ever state visit by the president of India. Economic interests have emerged as a key driver of the relationship with bilateral trade at nearly 5 billion US dollars. Opportunities for collaboration in areas such as green technologies, renewable energy, smart infrastructure, healthcare and defense are significant. Innovation, technology, investment and R&D collaborations provide the bedrock of this modern relationship. Sweden is an externally oriented economy with a focus on services and industry sectors, especially on manufacturing, IT, life sciences, circular economy and clean technologies. Sweden consistently ranks among the top economies in the world in terms of innovation. India's ranking in innovation is also climbing rapidly. From Sweden, the external affairs minister traveled to Brussels for bilateral engagements with Belgian and EU officials. In Brussels, he attended the first ministerial meeting of the India-EU Trade and Technology Council (TTC), accompanied by other Indian ministers. The TTC was launched during the visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen. in April 2022 it aims to enhance cooperation in strategic technologies digital governance digital connectivity green and clean energy technologies trade investment and resilient value chains during his time in brussels dr jayashankar also met with belgian prime minister alexander de croo to discuss bilateral cooperation in trade and technology as well as contemporary strategic concerns The discussions were productive, emphasizing the growing ties between the two nations. India has maintained diplomatic relations with the precursor of the European Union, the European Economic Community, since its establishment. The 1994 EU-India Cooperation Agreement provides the legal framework for EU-India relations and boosted political, economic and sectoral cooperation. EU interrelations have evolved significantly since the commencement of annual summits in the year 2000. There have also been regular dialogues on regional and global issues of shared interest. The EU and India have regular foreign policy and security consultations and pursue cooperation on security issues such as counterterrorism, cybersecurity, counter piracy, maritime security, non-proliferation and disarmament. There are close contacts in multilateral forums and interactions during regional or international events and a shared commitment to further enhance cooperation on common priorities including on human rights issues. Music